The video you have just watched was generated, made by me, using AI tools. I will take you behind the scenes of this same project and show you how to use AI tools to not only come up with a story, but actually bring it to life, along with the consistent characters and sound effects. And the best part, this is all done with just one AI tool. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So the tool we're using is called Global GPT, and trust me, this one's a game changer. I've dropped the link in the description and pinned comment. Inside, you'll find hundreds of premium AI tools, from image generation to video creation, all the top AI models in one place. And yeah, you get access to the premium versions too. Whatever you need to create viral content, it's all here. Go check out this big fish in the AI world. Links waiting for you below. So now, for the script, we're going to use ChatGPT. Just head over to the model section on the left panel, click on Chat, then scroll down, and I'm selecting GPT 4.0 for this. Personally, I think it's the best when it comes to generating scripts for image and video creation. It's fast, smart, and gives super creative results. Now just type this. Give me 10 images of a cinematic movie where the girl is on an adventure to find a lost plane in a jungle. Keep the character consistent, 16-9 ratio. Give me a perfect prompt for every single image so I can generate them using AI. Then simply hit enter. In just a few moments, ChatGPT gives us the perfect prompts. Now again, type this. For consistency, make sure that every prompt includes the same girl with all her details so that the AI doesn't create any inconsistency. Then hit enter again. And just like that, ChatGPT gives us the final prompt for our image generation. Now simply copy it from here and save it anywhere you prefer. I'm pasting mine into a Google Doc. So now for image generation, head back to Global GPT. From the left panel, select Image. You'll see two options here, text to image and image to image, along with access to a variety of powerful tools. Here are the image generation results from four different AI tools with the same prompt. So we're going with Midjourney for our image generation. Here's a sample result from my test run. Now open Midjourney and make sure you're using version 7. Then go back to your Google Doc, copy the first prompt, and paste it into the prompt box on Midjourney. Set the aspect ratio to 16.9 and scroll through the extra options. I'll show you how these settings affect your final image. For now, select Cinematic as the style, then hit Generate. And there it is. See that? Hmm. It's not that great, right? That's mostly because of the current settings. So this time, let's click on U2 to upscale the second image. And there you go. And here's the second image result. Looks amazing, right? Now you're probably wondering, what's the difference? Well, let me tell you, this time I set the image quality to Ultra HD, and that made a huge improvement. The details, the sharpness, everything just pops. Now, let's check out the third image. Click on U3, and boom, there it is. This one's pretty solid too, right? Now go back to the Google Doc, copy the third prompt, and paste it into the global GPT prompt box. If you want, you can tweak the style and view to match the tone of the prompt. Now let me show you a powerful feature called Style Reference. Click on it and upload the image we just downloaded. This will help maintain visual consistency across all the next images, so the entire story keeps the same vibe and look. Once everything is set, hit Generate. And here is the result. The second one is cool, right? So to generate it, simply click on U2, and there it is, our image is generated. And just like that, go ahead and generate all 10 images. Just make sure you're using the prompts correctly and apply the settings properly too. The more accurate you are with the settings, the better the results you'll get. I hope the process is clear so far. I've sped things up a bit so we can move on to the next exciting part of our film generation journey. Here, I created an extra image just to add a personal touch to the film. You can definitely add your own ideas too during image generation. Once you're done, simply download all your selected images and organize them into a folder, just like I'm doing here. Make sure to number them properly so the story flows in perfect order. Now it's time for video generation. Go back to Global GPT. Make sure you're using ChatGPT 4.0 and type this prompt. Now give me motion prompt for each image to use an image to video generation. Make sure each prompt creates a cinematic, movie-style shot 
that includes detailed camera movements and the best visual direction. Within a few seconds, ChatGPT will generate all the motion prompts you need. Just copy the prompts from there and save them in Google Docs or anywhere you prefer. Now, head back to Global GPT for video generation. From the left panel, click on Video, and yeah, you'll see two main options, text to video and image to video. You'll also find a bunch of powerful tools here, including Google VO2, Google VO3, and other professional platforms like Runway ML, Luma, and more. Since we're using image to video, just click on the settings icon, and here we go. From here, select the video generation model. I'm choosing the Kling Pro 1 model for this example, but you'll also find other great options available. Now click Upload Image and upload your first image. Below that, you'll see all the video generation settings. You can adjust the video length. I'm setting it to 5 seconds for now. Next, go back to your Google Doc, copy the first video motion prompt, and paste it right here. Once everything's ready, just hit Generate. And wait a few moments while it processes. And here it is. Looks great, right? I'll let you guys see the full video later, but for now, let's animate the second one. Click on Reupload and upload the second image. Then go back to the Google Doc, copy the second motion prompt just like before, paste it into the prompt box, and simply hit Generate. And just like that, the generation process begins. And here it is. The video's been generated. Take a look. Looks awesome, right? And just like that, Go ahead and animate all the images into videos. Just copy the motion prompt for each one. And if you want, you can tweak the prompt to create different motion styles for specific scenes. I hope you guys are getting the hang of the process. And to download your video, it's super simple. You can download it directly from here. Or just click on your profile, then go to My Creations. There, you'll see all the videos you've generated. Just click on the one you want to download and it'll be saved straight to your device. After downloading all the videos, gather them into one folder and rename them one by one, just like me, so the story flows in the right order. Now for sound effects, go back to ChatGPT and type the prompt I've shared in the Google Doc. Hit enter, and in just a few seconds, ChatGPT will provide sound effects for each video clip, helping you match the perfect audio to every scene. Then, Simply copy the sound effects and paste them into a Google Doc to save everything in one place. Now go to the website I mentioned in the video description for AI-generated sound effects. Once you're there, click Upload Video and select your clip from your device. In just a few moments, it will start analyzing automatically. And here is the result. All the sound effects are pretty good, right? Once you find the perfect one, just click the download button and it'll be saved to your device instantly. And the second option is to manually find sound effects. There are tons of free websites out there. Just use the sound effect prompts from the Google Doc and search for the perfect match to your visuals. Now let's move on to editing. I'm using CapCut for this part. Open CapCut and import all the video clips from your device then drag them into the editing timeline. Make sure each clip is placed in the correct order to maintain a smooth story flow. Make sure there are no visual gaps between clips. To keep the story flowing smoothly, trim any unnecessary parts and adjust the visuals as needed, just like I did. Now to add background sound effects, go to any free sound effect website and search for sounds that match the mood of your scenes. Idea from Google Doc. Then download the sound effects and apply them to each video clip accordingly. I won't go into too much detail for this part, just make sure you add a full background sound and apply the right sound effect to each scene to match the visuals.